Hello everyone and welcome. I decided to make a new video on how to get the wheeled vehicle from Blender to Unreal because there were some changes and I'd like to cover them. So as you can see I'm using Blender 2.79 and this is the default screen you should be able to see when you first open it up. So let's click somewhere else. I just quickly enable screencast keys and we back. So this is our uh, default scene. We can get rid of everything by uh, double pressing A and X to delete. Go here to our scene tab and change the unit uh, system to metric and unit scale from 1 to 0 0.01. As you can see we have some clipping issues so let's press N and change the clip end to 10,000 and we should be able to see the whole grid then by pressing 5 on your numpad you change the pres uh, perspective view to orthographic view so we can now start by creating a cube in edit mode we will move it up uh, because we don't want the origin to be moved and this will represent our car body so let's just play with the scale okay few loop cuts and okay so this is my body I need to create uh, wheels so let's shift A circle F6 to change field type to triangle fan then control tab to see only vertic uh, vertices and extrude so now we have wheels let's rotate it and by pressing 7 and Z we go to top view and wireframe mode and just move it where we want it to be at least or where I want it to be by pressing shift D you make a duplicate and by pressing shift D again and changing uh, the value to minus on the y-axis you will get the wheel on the other side so let's do the same for the front so I will just move the car body a little bit lower and we want the whole car to be above the grid so just move it up still in edit mode so the origin stays in place okay now we want to create armature since we changed the scale it will be really small so let's scale it up a little bit okay and let's rotate it around x-axis by nine minus 90 degrees press this little dude here and check axis in edit mode you can see the z is pointing up and x forward since i decided that this will be the front of my vehicle that's where i want it to po uh, point uh, when you look at this corner here uh, when selecting the mesh and pressing G on X axis you see it's positive numbers so it's X forward so we have a bones let's go to edit mode and create some children shift first click the new bone and then the old alt P to disconnect bone and shift D make duplicates for each wheel we want to name them so we don't need to remember the names so this will be root go to edit mode so you can see which uh, bones you've selected be front left front right rear left and rear right now we want to parent them so you press first the object you want to parent and then what it's what it should be parented to control p with empty groups and then you have to select the pivot for me it's this point in here so i click the vertex and shift s cursor to select it object mode go to edit mode in with bones and select the bone i want to move shift s and selection the cursor and that's it for me of course 
the names of the bones should correspond to the wheels. So, okay. Uh, now we want to be able to move with it in pose mode. So, as you can see, when you click on the mesh in this little triangle tab, you can see that there are vertex groups named after our bones. So, let's click root and select our car body and click assign. Now in pose mode the root bone will move with our car body and that's what we want for each for each wheel as well. So front left will be front left. I just click one vertex Control L to select everything linked and it will select the whole mesh. Rear left and this is rear right. Okay, and that should be it. Uh, now we want to apply location, rotation and scale for everything. And as well we want to check the proportions of our wheel. So let's make a copy of one. Uh, press P to separate and go to object mode and in here you can see that the X and Z are the same and it's the proportions of the circle so uh, diameter is 2 and radius is 1 so that's it we can get rid of this I can remember 1 meter no problem so let's export FBX let's uh, uh, untick this little button here change this to unit scale, x forward, z up, selected objects only and smoothing groups, we didn't make any, but whatever. Okay, I didn't make any material for it, but we don't need it right now, at least there will be no shaders compiling. Let's export, now go to Unreal, I just create a new blank project, wait a little bit. I'm using uh, version 4.17 as you can see so it's all the new software software you can download right now this looks really bad oh. okay that's better so let's create a new level let's change this so we can drive on something okay let's import our mesh so it's in here. Import settings are check check. Import normal intentions and check if you have this little box in here checked. <laughs> so that should be it. Import. We did not create any UE set, that's alright. Let's start with creating blueprints. So the first one will be wheeled vehicle. From now on everything is old school, so if you know how to set it up, it will work. So you can stop watching if you just want to get to the thing. Wheel, weak wheel. This will be front. Control W to duplicate rear. Change this little setting in here. Shape radius, it's 100 for us, at least for me. 0 our steer angle for the rear wheel and here we will change only the radius okay uh, now we can go to our blueprint and click on mesh and add our skeletal mesh let's add spring arm and a camera and let's make the arm a little bit longer okay this should be okay now we can go to vehicle movement go to the wheel setup and click on these little arrows <coughs> and change the blueprint to front front, rear, rear 
and bow names for the front wheels. It's F L F R R L and R R. Okay, that should be fine. Now let's create some inputs. <coughs> Axis mappings. Let's create a new one. So it will be called forward W and S for the backwards. The scale will be minus one and one will be called right which will be D key and A will be for the left obviously. That's it. Let's go back to our blueprint event graph and let's set it up so forward and right. Okay. Set throttle input. And set steering input. Connect everything. Okay. Uh, now we want to go to our physical asset and delete all bones, all physics bodies. Create a new one. This will be box. I believe you've seen this thousand times on all the tutorials that didn't help you because I did and I was so looking forward to this chapter when I will be just changing the proportions of my physics bodies everything will work so sphere great and just changes to kinematic and I don't know which one oh, only that one selected Select all and change it to kinematic. Save. Good. Uh, we want to create a new game mode, which I just call game, and change the default pawn to my car. Okay, and in the world settings, change the default game mode. Now we need uh, animation blueprint. Vehicle enemy instance of skeleton. Good. Just untick this and type mesh space ref pose. Good. Alt click to break the link. Type wheel handler. Good. Compile. And we can edit in here fine and I believe that's all so good we are moving wheels are turning that's all we wanted so let's just change it to see it from the side so you believe me fine so I guess that's it I tried to make it look quicker than last time and I hope it worked for you as well so thank you guys I'll make new tutorials I'm about to make a new series I guess and it will be called how I instead of how to because I don't believe this is how it really should be done but that's only how I found out it's working so thanks again for watching and have fun with your creatings.